Okay, my name is uh, Geert van Galen, which is unpronounceable in any decent language. Um, I'm a composer, sound designer, mixer, mastering engineer. My heart lies into uh, com music composition, but we actually do a lot of um, work for advertising. Uh, we do this for, I think, for 20 years now. Started off Studio de Keuken, La Cuisine, or The Kitchen. That became an odd name when you attract a little bit more international client base. Uh, we had a, a studio designer, Hans Komans is his name. He helped us with not just this room, but also the, the other studios. It's The, the principle is, uh, is the idea of a reflection-free zone. So and at the mixing position, you're free of reflections as much as you can. Obviously, this is a reflection, this is a reflection, this is, everything is. So it's never, never perfectly ideal. And that's, I think that's where, where, where Trinov came in to, to put the last dots on the eye in terms of acoustics. What I found out, found out with, with Trinov is we have BM15s, Dynaudio speakers, for years. In combination with the Trinov, these old uh, trusted speakers I'm so used to and know exactly how they respond when you hear back a mix on TV or hear back a mix in cinema. Um, basically the Trinov gave it a whole new life. Yeah, the first time when I did a measurement with, uh, with the Trinov, um, well, then it just runs noises through your speakers. It doesn't take that much time to do it actually. And then you start listening before and after on, on uh, just simply bypassed or uh, or with the correction, when you switch it on bypass, then you hear all of a sudden what was the problem in your room, uh, which was there all along. We've used Avid since, uh, since the beginning, since it was DigiDesign. And um, so I think I have like 25, 30 years experience now with, uh, with DigiDesign Avid products. I li really like it that it's tightly integrated with uh, with Avid, and I think that became, yeah. Or obviously, the Demon was like an Xmon with the pro with the trend of processing. I could tightly integrate it with uh, with Pro Tools, tightly integrate it with really a simple dock with one fader and uh, and a master fader and an overview of what's happening if I'm listening to 5.1, 2.1 or 2.0, uh, see what inputs we have. And normally we have this, uh, this window open, but when you're working on Pro Tools, it's gone and you don't see on what level you are or if you're unmuted or unmuted. So it's really important to have some kind of control while you're working in Pro Tools. And I think even in a low level situation like this, it works really well 